So, remember when I said that I probably wasn't going to play this again? Funny story, uh, I've actually been playing it quite a bit. So, I, uh, Elf King also got into this friend of mine, and uh, we've, like many people, have been playing it pretty regularly since it came out. So much so, in fact, that uh, I think I might try to aim for a stream of this per season. Now, as I understand, this is uh, updating with new content every month for the time being. Uh, it's currently September 27th, so October, in a few days, it will move from the Knight Cup Grand Prix to the Queen Cup. Honestly, could have happened a little sooner. It's, uh, the, 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 like, seven tracks in the game are getting kind of old, but, uh, better late than ever. Uh, I'm actually going to, uh, you can see I've, I've, I've leveled up a bit. I've, uh, let me go to my workshop. Just to show how much I have been playing the game between now and the uh, last time we streamed it, which was the first time I booted it up. Uh, I've been doing a little bit. I'm actually going to start off with, uh, I think I want to try to do some of the practices, because I've done most of them, and they're not too hard. But, uh, Port Town, I'm very close to getting the time needed for, so I want to see if I can uh, go through these and get that on this stream. Shouldn't take long. Uh, I've also remapped my controls. The game doesn't let you do that, but uh, I was able to do that with the uh, Switch menu, so small favors. I don't remember what one I was using in the original stream, in the first stream, but uh, I've kind of gotten a better idea of the vehicles. Fire Stingray, almost certainly best for time trials, and also my personal favorite. It's got the uh, highest top speed. And also, strangely enough, corners the best. It's weird in a racing game that the vehicle with the highest speed would also have the best handling, because usually that's not the case. Uh, Blue Falcon is kind of the, the catch-all, the jack-of-all-trades. This is the uh, high-speed, low-excel one. Golden Fox is the high excel, low top speed, but uh, it's also kind of become... So the, the meta of this game has gone through a couple phases since the start of it. At first, everyone was using the Wild Goose, the one with the highest uh, toughness. Because I guess they figured it was the best balance and the best suited to a game where you just get knocked around all the time by the racers. Uh, since then, more people have opted for the Golden Fox, the one that is uh, maximum acceleration. Because it also, uh, it refills the, the, the fastest on boost panels, so you can get a full amount of boost every single lap and just, like, spam boost the whole time. That's become the current meta, to just get in the front immediately with Golden Fox and to stay there. So that's how the people who are, like, getting first are consistently getting first at the moment. I could have managed my boost way better during that. But that's okay. I've already gotten these times. In fact, that was, I think, better than my previous time. See, 202? I can beat 202. These practice modes are kind of... They're, they're kind of a side thing for the game, but it is nice in that uh, you, you can boot up this game and play F-Zero. Not F-Zero 99 buttfuck, but just, just F-Zero. So this is neat. It's not quite the Super NES game, because it has the uh, boost mechanics of, you know, F-Zero X and on. That was a mistake. That was a bad bump. 
Uh, I have noticed that uh, you actually, when you're smoking, when you're damaged, you don't go as fast. So it is worth it to try to stay above a certain threshold of, uh, like, power meter, for the most part. That's my game theory. I'm by no means a pro at this game. I'm, I'm pretty good at, at other F-Zeros. I'm pretty good at F-Zero GX, I should say. This one's a bit different. This has, this has a different meta. It's also, as I said during the previous stream, it's a lot more casual just because you have less agency as a player. Like, there's not really any counterplay to getting, like, jostled by 98 other racers. There's, there's nothing you can do about that. It's just gonna happen in this game. Still, a, a more casualized F-Zero is still quite a bit more, I, I, I guess, more competitive than something like Mario Kart. I still like it. I appreciate this game. Yeah, the times for these courses are very, very forgiving. I don't really have to be especially perfect or anything. Look at how much more boost I had that I could have used. I'm just kind of going through these to show them off. Shouldn't take long. Cut off six seconds off that. Port Town is going to be uh, Port Town. Port Town is going to be a challenge. Then I'll go and do some uh, online races. Probably like the last one won't be a, a terribly long F Zero stream. I would like to. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do this, and I think I would like to try to keep up with the time trials on new tracks as they come out with the uh, subsequent seasons. As I said, I'm anticipating the Queen Cup will come with five new tracks. Or four new tracks, I guess. Starting uh, this next month, October. And then I assume November will get the King's Cup. And those last five tracks. Four or five tracks. I hope the player base lasts that long. I hope we don't have the issue that uh, early Fall Guys had where... Uh, there's just not enough content to hold people's interests long enough for the game to survive. Me and a lot of people are hoping, hoping against hope, that this is a uh, this is a way for Nintendo to like gauge interest in F Zero because this is a, this is a cheap way to do it compared to a uh, just a new, full new F Zero game is to just put something like this out for free and see how many people are interested in playing it. That was probably a little bit early to use all my boosts. Oh, there's another lap left. I always think it's three laps instead of four. And now I have this whole final lap smoking. That's not good. I'm still quite a bit ahead of my other ghosts, so I'll be fine, but... Uh, Less than optimal. What is this one? This is Sand Ocean. The only track on the current list that I really dislike is Death Wind. The one with the, uh, the stupid wind all over it. Speaking of, all right, 147. It's look, look at the map. It's just Baby Park. It's just an oval. It's Baby Park with wind physics. Hello, Cure Ribbon. I have learned on straightaways. It saves you a little bit of speed to instead of actually turning to uh, just drift left and right. I've learned that is the uh, pro strat. Jack is not here today, it's just me. 
Jack is uh, currently at work. I don't know if he'll be on for future F-099 streams. I'm planning to do these uh, every time that we get new tracks, which we haven't yet. That'll be in a few days, so uh, probably next week I'll do another one of these with the... Uh... Wow, I'm doing bad. I'm missing all the boosts. I just, I just, I just used all up my boost. Now I'm smoking. This isn't a good showing. I'm still might beat my ghost, but uh, Jack will be here on Saturday. We'll do a stream together, most likely. Assuming we're both feeling up to it. I am uh, eager to continue Breath of the Wild just for the sake of getting through it. Because I don't like, uh, I don't like dawdling on Zelda games. Other me is smoking. Eh. Yeah, I didn't like this. I made a little, I made a lot of mistakes on this one. I want to try that again. I want to at least beat my old time. I figure always boost at the start because you know you want to get to top speed immediately. Most tracks have uh, have the uh, the boost refill right after the starting line anyway. This one doesn't. This one takes a little while, but uh... yeah, in the case of most tracks, I think that advice holds up. Picking your boost spots is uh, very important for the more difficult times, which this shouldn't really be one of. I think, uh, I think White Land took me a couple tries, and Port Town might take me a little while. How are you today, Ribbon? What's your, what's your day been like? I've been job hunting, because, uh, driving a school bus was very stressful, and I'm glad I'm not doing that anymore, but I do need money, so uh, now I'm looking into uh, trucking work. The otaku truck trucker will be real. Drift. Drift King. Yeah! Oh, no, I can't drift fast enough on that one. Lap four. All right. Burn out. Yep. All in. Could have boosted more if I wanted to. You can still get pretty good times with the Golden Fox just by how much you can boost with it. I do feel I do better with the Stingray. It is my personal favorite vehicle overall, but uh, definitely, definitely of choice for the time trials. It's also, like, way less slippy than the others. Uh... What did I, I get 155 with the Golden Fox? Let me see if I can get that with uh, Stingray. Let me see if I can beat my Fox Ghost. This is the first track that took me more than one try to get the, uh, the badge thing. Yeah, cut corners. Uh-oh. Ah! Okay, retry. Nope, you ping-pong, you're done. There's one of those uh, start of racetrack boost pads. So what have I done in this game so far? Uh... Fox already smoking, already boosted out. I haven't come in first, I don't think. Yeah, that wasn't great. That was not a good lap. And the 
fox is already uh, fox is already good to keep going because it uh, it always gets full boost at the start of a lap. I'm gonna have to uh, figure out those jumps so that I don't waste time on the on the gravel with Stingray. Losing speed is Stingray is a death sentence. Anyway, I was saying Stingray is uh, like a lot. It's a lot grippier than the others. Okay, so I want to go left and then right. Golden Fox is the slippiest, and I, I hate being slippy in a game like this. I'll figure it out. I just, I gotta get the route, that's all. I think Pico is the or Wild Goose, is the next slippiest, and then Blue Falcon. lose speed on the gravel, I'm just never going to catch up, am I? Right, left. Right. 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 But I avoid all the gravel that way. I'm still quite a bit behind the fox, unfortunately. That's all right. I'll at least beat my, uh, my former, uh... I'll at least beat my former, uh, Stingray time. It's just a fox uh, level. Left. Right. I'm still landing on the gravel is the problem. Maybe I need to, uh, maybe I need to nosedive. Maybe I need to get to the ground sooner. Uh, sub two minutes, but, uh, that's still quite a bit behind the uh, the fox. I will try again. I will see if I can get the gravel just right. I promise we'll get to the chaos. We'll do we'll do online races. I just want to uh, I want to get through these time trials first. All right, left. No, I couldn't go down fast enough. Maybe it's because I boosted. Or, hold on, I've got an idea. I've done this online. Why didn't I think of it? Uh, you can go down the, you can go down like the middle to avoid the, uh, the magnet pole. All right, left. acceleration. That spot's good for boost. Got a couple good boost spots. I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna beat the fox. Yeah. 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 Uh. Okay. Ah, I hit a wall. I don't have enough for two boosts. Oh, and I hit a wall again. 
That's just, it, it kills you. I just did it again. Man. Yeah, that's it. Gravel. Gravel. Death. Alright. No, I'm done with White Land. Let's not come back to White Land. Alright, Port Town. This is the one that, uh, this is the one that I haven't gotten yet. I need to get sub 214. And I've come close. I'm sub 215. But this one is really demanding. And supposedly... Supposedly, uh, silence is even harder. I haven't gotten silence yet. Silence is, uh, you have to get to the end of a Grand Prix. I haven't even gotten to the end of a Grand Prix to unlock Silence yet, so, uh, depending on whether we have the, uh, whether we have a Grand Prix available during the stream, maybe this is when I'll do it. I spent, like, uh, I, I spent, like, hours going for this the other day. I'm hoping that, uh, I'll come back fresh and practiced, and now I'll do it, like, first try. Maybe that's maybe that's optimistic of me. I am uh, I'm ah, drifting away from the magnet so as not to eat the wall like that. I failed that time, and uh, that's going to be the end of this run. Oh, I had such a good first lap. I'm told you you do have some air control while you're in the air off of a, off of a jump. You can uh, you can hold up to nosedive or you can hold down to uh, like glide. And I'm told if you press down to the last second to like level out your car, you can uh, you can get like a smoother landing. I don't know how true that is. Uh, it seems like I'm I'm losing speed if I glide any. I don't know if I buy that. <sighs> Walls. Also, my, uh, there's the Blue Falcon ghost. Like, look, I'm here too. For a while, I thought the Blue Falcon might actually be the way to go for time trials, because it, uh, it gets boot, it gets almost as much boost refill on charge pads as, uh, the Fox does, but has a slightly higher max speed. It didn't seem to pan out, though. Who knows, maybe, uh, maybe the meta will shift once again. Maybe the Blue Falcon will be the next in-vehicle. Eating, eating the wall. I actually don't remember what the walls looked like in F-Zero GX. I think they were, like, proper fences. I think they were proper walls. What I'm doing for those tight turns is, uh, it's not quite as basic as Mario Kart drifting. You have to, uh, hold one of the, uh, you have to hold the drift button into the turn, which the drift just, like, uh, it, it, it's, like, more like a strafe in this game. So you turn while also strafing and, uh, You uh, let go of the acceleration briefly. I 
I have this one, uh, like, mapped out and everything. I get, uh, I get two boosts on laps one and four, but I only get one boost on two and three. And I'm trying to be picky about where I use them. I'm still lagging behind my, uh, this ghost is for my sub-215 Stingray run. Which I remember, despite getting the good time, I did I, I did muck it up a little towards the very end. So I could conceivably still be a little bit behind it and uh, catch up at the very end, but uh, I think I'm more than a little bit behind it right now. And now I'm smoking. Yeah, that's not, that's not it. Just eat the wall. Okay, what I get? Sub 216? Just 216 on the dot. I'm gonna do it. Less than perfect uh, starting boost, but that's not the that's not a run killer. I've noticed, and a, I, a lot of guides for like how to get good at F099 don't seem to mention this. There are different starting boost times for different vehicles. The uh, the Golden Fox is right, like just before go. I think this one is the longest if uh, you, you start holding it like just after the third dot. And the other two are uh, somewhere between those times, but uh, now it's not universal. Smoking, not great. Keeping up though. Those turns are the killer. I'm ahead of the ghost. This is it. This is gonna be the run. I just gotta not, like, make any big goofs. I'm sure I just jinxed myself. Yep. Bumped a bit. It's okay. I'm behind again. Okay, I got two boosts on this lap. Again, being very specific about where I use those boosts. So, right after the zigzags, i.e., here. And then the final home stretch, I get to use one. No, eat a wall. Don't eat the wall, please. Oh, no! That's it. Ah, it's so close! Sub-15 again! It's now my second best time. Best time on stream. We can do it. We can sub-214. And I'm doing this because there is, there is an unlockable tied to this. It's not just for the sake of it. I mean, it's cool that, you know, there's a game mode, but... I would like to unlock the, uh, the, the the card background that you get for this. You get one for beating a, a certain time on each of the tracks in the game. Well, each of the tracks currently in the game, anyway. And they've all been pretty forgiving except this one. I don't know how bad the silence one is. Again, I don't have that level yet, but uh, supposedly that one's the worst. I'm curious how they're going to do the Grand Prix after this season, because there's uh, there's also unlockables tied to like winning the uh, Night League Grand Prix. So like, surely that won't become unattainable after uh, after this month. I'm guessing that they're going to cycle between them. 
like every other Grand Prix will be Knight and then Queen. And then they'll cycle between the three when they add the, uh, the King's Cup. Okay, that Ghost is still my best time, so if I'm ahead of that, then I'm doing good. Take the wall. And yet, I'm still ahead of it. For now. I'm gonna jinx myself saying that. Oh, there it is. No. Why are you faster than me? So how the boost works is that uh, if you get the timing a little bit off, then you get like a, uh, you get a sudden boost and then your engine stalls and you just dead stop for a split second. That's the bad, that's the bad start. I wonder, because in time trials I start with boost immediately, if I can do that and boost before the engine stall happens. I wonder if it's a strategy to intentionally go for the uh, the bad start in time trials. Surely not. Uh, Vinny's taken a liking to this. He streamed it like four times since it came out. Joel streamed it once. Uh... Jack thought he saw Mewtwo King when uh, we streamed it the first time. It wasn't him. It was someone named Mega Mewtwo, but uh, incidentally, Mewtwo King has apparently been, like, streaming the shit out of this game. He loves it. He's done, like, 24-hour streams or something. And he's been doing a lot, in any case. Alright, I'm ahead. I'm making good time. Final lap. This is the run. I just gotta not fuck up royally. Hello again, Ribbon. Is that a... Is your name a, a Precure thing? Precure? I found out uh, Saucy is a fan of a, a Precure series. I don't think I've known someone who was a fan of it before. Yes! Yes! Sub 214! It's just that easy. Just do what I do. And then you too can get the Port Town 2 background. Alright. Well, next season I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hopefully I'll have silence by then. I'm proud of that. I'm gonna equip it. Probably. How's it look? Yeah, it looks okay. I can even rotate my thing. There we go. There we go. That's a nice looking set of pilot cards. Even the Roomba looks nice. It's kind of a goofy looking machine. The, the uh... The wild goose. Alright. Let's go online. Grand Prix starts in uh, 5115. Maybe we'll stream long enough to see that. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll finish with a Grand Prix. I'll get seven tickets. Side note. I don't really get why the tickets system exists. It, it would make more sense for a game with microtransactions. Where you have to like. You can buy more tickets to play more. 
but this game isn't that. So it seems kind of pointless to, uh, like, limit people. Like, limit how many Grand Prix they can participate in. I guess it's supposed to be an incentive to play, like, hey, play more of the regular game mode, then you can get this special game mode. I don't like the, uh, I don't like the team game mode, the team battles. Because you already don't have a lot of agency over the game with uh, 99 racers. In team mode, you can, like, be an ace on the track. You can race perfectly and still just lose because you had enough, like, bad teammates. So it's, it's not a great feeling. I have, uh, I've managed to get, there, there's an unlockable for being the first one to cross the starting line. Which you're basically never, ever, ever going to do as any vehicle other than the Golden Fox, because that's the one with the max acceleration. Again. My favorite vehicle is the Stingray. It's not as noticeable on tracks like these, these, like, easy tracks. When you get to the, uh, like, challenging ones... Like, uh, Port Town. It beca it, it's way better to, uh, be able to navigate the turns, the sharp turns. Well, we just raced on Port Town. We did the time trial. So you can see, like, how important it would be to be able to go around those turns without, like, hitting walls or anything. Uh, here's something I didn't realize until just recently. Those gray bumper cars are vehicles that you can KO, and you can get the, you can get the KO boost for them. They count as KOs for you. They, uh, fill up your meter and everything. Which is especially important for a Grand Prix or a Mini Prix like this. Because, uh... When you get a KO, not only do you get your meter filled right then, but you also... It also adds to the maximum. You get a bigger meter. Okay, accidental KO. So you have a... You can fill up to a higher maximum boost. It's very, very useful. It's important to get KOs if you can. See, now I'm at the point that I basically cannot boost at all, because I just have to stay alive. Stingray is good at, uh, just going straight in a straight line fast. And going around turns fast. Not, not so much boosting. All right, 23 after the first race. Number six among fire stingrays. Number nine among A-rank pilots. Ninety-third in brawling. I got like two KOs, didn't I? That can't have been like a very KO happy race. Because we got so many people still in, still in it. Do the truffle shuffle. Look at all those cool cards. And all I got is Port Town. All right, 73 racers still in. There's not much, there's really no reason not to spin before these ramps because they refill your spin immediately.
Ah! Hitting vehicles, getting bumped. It sucks so much as the Stingray, you lose so much speed. That's the meta, is to somehow, like, psychically see behind you and get bumped by the vehicles behind you. I say psychically because there is not a rear view in this game. There is no way to reliably know what's behind you. You just have the, uh, you have the, the orange arrows, is it, is all. Oh, bumper vehicle. Walls. Eating shit. Got a KO. That's good. <laughs> Get me up in the sky. I don't want to be down here. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I'm just, like, hanging out directly behind people too often. Yeah, take those sharp turns. Don't hit any walls. Love me a stingray. Uh, there's unlockables for going ten races as each vehicle without uh, getting any crash outs. It took me so long to do that with the Golden Fox. Oh man, is it easy to blow yourself up with the Fox. Yeah, kill. Oh, I wanted that guy. I wanted to KO him. I'm gonna- I'm gonna get KO'd. I'm bumping everything! Oh, no! Yeah, 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 Okay. I might have got a little greedy at the end. May have made some missteps, some misplays. That were not very, as they say, gamer. 17th isn't bad, though. Lua from Hunter Hunter joins us. Brandon in the lead. Bob Wolf. Nacho. I wonder how many of these are bots. I guess we know how many are bots when the uh, when the room timer runs out. There's and there's something you unlock for getting first in a mini pre. I don't remember if it's for your, it's pilot wide or uh, if it's per vehicle. It's the only mini pre related thing that I still have to get is to actually win one. I I have not actually won one. In fact, I don't think I have, uh, I think I've come in first in one, in one of these 99 races yet. God, if I just, just, to not bump people, that's all I want. I just want, like, a clear path. I do great when there's a clear path. Yeah, gave me the lead. I practice this. I am the goat, the gamer. I am the god of Port Town. Let me through. I got bumper card a little bit. 
I'm so close. Yes, KO! Yeah, boost, boost, get me up there! Get me up there! I got so much boost to spare! No, bumper car! Ah, uh, that was bad. Oh, I hit a red. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I had everything. And now I have nothing. Give me, give me the pad. Get me up there. Get me up there. Yeah, give me the gold balls. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to recover from this. I was so close to the lead. And the magnets, I forgot about the magnets. I'm gonna hit the red again. This is this is bad. I'm, I'm not doing well. I'm, I'm dead. I am so fucking dead. There I go. Man, I was feeling good for a while. I got KOs. I had my bar up. That uh, somber F Zero results music. Brandon went down. Bobby, Bubby OG in first. At least I don't have to worry about crashing out anymore. It was so stressful just not being able to do it ever to get those uh, those decals. In fact, I think, is there a thing you get for crashing out? Yeah, I do. I gotta crash out more. I gotta get up to 50. That's a goal now. 99 KOs. Almost up to 999 boosts. Ride the Skyway, rank higher than unique rivals. Boy, this is gonna be impossible to get after people stop playing this game. Unless, unless, like, bots count. Yeah, crash out. This one was surprisingly hard, being the last pilot to finish with the, uh, b basically last place. Because remember, every lap, uh, there's, like, the, the rank out. So, uh, the final position in a normal race is 80th. But it's rare that you have 80 people actually survive to that point, because people always get KO'd before the finish line. Uh, 20 team battles. Get 5 KO's is surprisingly difficult. Highest so far is 4. There's the mini pre one. I don't know if I'm gonna get this. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get first in a GP. I'd like to. There's another one that is also not possible, because only seven of the courses are in the game right now. One day... Let's do team battle, and in fact, just to show off the different vehicles. Uh, my new blue falcon, I guess. Quote-unquote blue falcon. Because I think I played them all when I did the first stream of this, but uh, I didn't, like, know how to play the game yet, so... That didn't really count. JT, Captain Panda, Sheep, Polter Pup. No, fuck Deathwind. I hate Deathwind. No! Why would you pick it?
it is, uh, unsurprisingly, very hard not to hit your own teammates in situations like this. Alright, I am, uh, I'm Blue Falcon now, so I have a little bit of freedom to boost, as long as I don't get, uh, I just, sorry, Pink. As long as I don't get bumped around too hard. Which, uh, I am currently in, as they say, the clusterfuck, so I am, in fact, getting bumped around quite a bit. Oh, okay. We got a team KO. I don't think that increases my meter, but I think it gives us a little bit of a... Gives me a little bit of boost. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. I only got a little. Is that the is that the increased meter sound? Is that what that is? Give me the gold. Give me the gold. I think I go for that stuff way more often than is normal in this game. I think maybe I put too much focus on the gold. Because uh, I'm I'm usually like way up in the pack of like super sparks collectors at the end of a race. This lap four. All right, time to boost. Give me the boost. Pointless slam at the end. I'm not very good at telling when someone is like vulnerable at a glance. I don't think I have the reaction times for that. Which is probably why I'm not amazing at this game. I can't like see that someone's smoking and then like react and attack them within 10 frames, or whatever it is. Garbo. Inferno Fox. Mastermind. King Yoshi. Mm, 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 mm. I like that name. Cubone. Bowser Kart. I haven't seen anyone I recognize yet. I, I keep hoping that I'll run into, run into Elf King. Maybe we will see Mewtwo King. Statistically, it has to happen eventually. All right. Yeah, one one more team win. Only seven to go, and then that number goes up to fifty. We'll always have a reason to play team mode. Alright, Golden Fox. Let's do a Golden Fox round, knowing how to use the Golden Fox. Not Deathwind. Don't pick Deathwind! Good. Nostro, Trillcarp, Spin to Win, Pale Man J.O.J. I think the fact that we're on the easy tracks right now is a contributing factor to uh, the Golden Fox meta. Why why did I do that? I forgot that this had a different starting uh, starting boost timing. Uh yeah, once we get to the tracks with like the really tucked sharp turns and things that the Golden Fox can't necessarily do because it is so slip slidey. I think that's when uh, we might see it, the meta shift a little bit. Right now, my goal is to get out of the pack, and I am failing miserably at it. I, I accomplished nothing. I just kind of wasted all my boosts because everyone else boosted the, at the same times. Okay, I got I got Skyway access, just like all of these people. Yeah, the cluster. Like Steven Universe. 
are all gonna fuse together and become this weird amalgamation of racing machines. I'm gonna be greedy. I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do it. I really hope that was a KO, but it wasn't. Anyone smoking? We smoking out here. Oh, I accidentally... Okay. I didn't realize I had the super boost. No, get out of the way, bumper vehicle! Ah, oh, that was it. That killed it. My hopes, my dreams dashed. I was doing okay, and then I ping-ponged, and that was all she wrote. Fortunately, you're invincible when you're spinning, so if you're right at the end of the race, you can uh, time your spin to just, like, the last few bits before the end line. Somehow I was still 9 out of 18 gold foxes. High on brawlers, kinda high on super smart collectors. Is this like an S rank race? Why, why are why are all the why am I so high in the A rank pilots? Big donk. Donkey. Oh, so someday someone's gonna watch this and they'll see their name on stream. On screen. Saucy racer. I don't think that's our saucy. Like, man, I remember what I was doing in September 2023. All right, we got a boost badge. You might have noticed I have I have my card with uh, three KO badges to make it seem like I'm much more dangerous than I actually am. Uh, I I tried the strategy. I tried to like get ahead. Let's do a mini pre with the golden fox. Because the Golden Fox disproportionately benefits from having extra boost meter. Then I'll try a regular race with the, uh, the, the Wild Goose. Alright, Golden Fox. I know the timing this time. I am facing the Rat God, which I suspect is Eminem with a rat on his head, pulling his hair. Don't, no, I don't want to be right behind you, because then I'll bump you and you'll be ahead. Like that. Oh, man, spinning people just puts them further ahead of you. Alright, I th I, I'm ahead of the pack. I escaped, kind of, a little bit. I'm still kind of in the pack. Uh, I'm directly behind people! I basically get a full boost no matter what when I hit the, uh, the boost pad, so... I may as well boost through it. I have failed the Golden Fox strategy to uh, get ahead immediately and stay ahead. That's okay. I'm still doing okay. All, I'm doing all right. As long as I don't get, like, a major fuck-up like that last race. Ah! Why did I open my mouth? Why do I say anything? 
Why do I even try at this game? Could that have possibly been timed better? Oh, that was rancid. Wish I had my spin so I could have spun that guy. Okay, again, no! Oh, no! I'm, I'm fine. We finished. Sorry. Maybe that panic wasn't account wasn't called for. Ah, uh, 43. Beat all four rivals. Tommy, Mike, Eskimo. I wonder how many people play this game with the D-pad. I do, because I, I like the precision. Here we go, Deathwind. Fox is uh, good at getting ahead at the start of the race. Unfortunately, because of said meta, there are always many golden foxes, so it's always competitive up here. Ah, Walt. That was a bad Walt. Uh, that boost pad is shorter. I actually did not get a full uh, full refill. I'm gonna ma I'm gonna ma have have to be mindful on Death Wind. Is that me? Did I get that KO? I don't think I did. Ah, I missed the boost. That's the other thing that kind of screws you on this level. If you miss the if you miss the boost pads, that's that's kind of just it. <laughs> Those are so necessary to getting ahead. Spin, hit nothing. No, please. Why am I so bad? Lonk. I wonder if that's the I wonder if that's the lonk I know. All right, final lap. Maybe boosting a little too much. Maybe wasting spin a little too readily. Maybe. Missing the boost pads. Maybe being bad at the game. Ah! I could have gone around him! I guess we won't get to see. Above Rat God? Sakamoto. Fuck you, Sakamoto. That, that was the worst character in Maison Koku. Reference that no one is going to get. Except Jack. Hi, Jack. He was just a friend of the main character, who was voiced by, uh... He was voiced by Krillin from the Ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z. And he just always made things worse, every scene he was in. He would just act like a complete fuck. Kinda like me just now, just, you know, driving in the gravel at the start of the race. That was a good idea. Good ideas with Sakamoto.
Wow, I'm doing... How did I get such a good time with the fox on this level? I'm doing bad right now. I, I know it can't turn that well on, the, on this kind of level, but... I'm just getting bumped around too much. Well, I knocked those guys out of the boost, so that'll be helpful. <sighs> Slip sliding around like a buttered asshole. I got a KO. Other thing to note, you cannot crash out while you're up here on the sky path, so it is a good place to go if you find yourself low on health and have the luxury of being able to access the sky path. Another uh, short boost pad. Alright, sky path. End of the race. This is a good time to be using it. Oh, that was a great place to use it. Yeah, get me up here. Oh, yeah, hit the red car! Yeah, pinball all over the place. Fuck it up right at the end! I did okay. I got 16th. Oh, that was the end. That was the end of the uh, of the mini pre. But at least I survived this one. Rat God did finish ahead of me. Isaiah in the lead, seven. I did worse race two than I did race one. All right. Well, we finished one. Got uh, 18 more minutes till the Grand Prix. Is there anything else I'm working towards? Uh, Golden Fox, I have a lot of stuff for. Blue Falcon, I haven't really touched. Same for a uh, Wild Goose. Let's see, participate in races. Finish in the top 25. Goose I've probably played the least. Oh, I haven't done the... I haven't done the ten races with Goose. Okay. Well, I guess that's my next goal, is to, uh... I get uh, five F-Zero races with that. And if I can get the uh, ten without crash outs, I can get a new decal. I thought I had all of them. I guess I don't. Alright, let's Goose it up. Mr. Pants, McDooters, Ryzax, Zane, Maddie, Raha Bowser, Dark Garros. Queenie, Kotoha, Fawful Dude, Ambassdorf. I wonder if he plays Ganondorf. Not Deathwind. Not Deathwind! It's like, it's, it's just Baby Park with a terrible gimmick. It's like picking one of those 1-1 one, one Mario Maker levels with a terrible gimmick. Side note. Boy, I'd love a Mario Maker 3. You know what I'd love even more? If it had, like, proper online... Uh, well, just proper online in general, but even just proper online, like, tagging. Because the thing that killed that game's online mode was, yes, the netcode was, like, atrocious, but, uh, even if it wasn't, it just, it didn't have, like, a proper tagging system. It was better than the first game, but it still wasn't enough because, uh, you couldn't, like, hard separate 
Uh... You couldn't like hard separate co-op levels versus versus levels or levels that would only function on single player. That was just they were just kind of suggestions instead of fully separate cues. Like, no, this will not function with multiple players. Do not put multiple players on this map. That Mario Maker tagging system could use some work. Uh yeah, I think I like the Pico the le uh, I keep calling it the driver main. I think I like the, the Goose the least. Because I notice... Even the Stingray refills boost faster than this does. This ga- this, uh... This- this vehicle seems to have the worst boost refill. To counteract- to counteract it being the toughest vehicle. Which, as a result, I can't, like, boost that much with it. I guess it's alright, because it it uses a lot less boost per boost than uh, the Stingray does. Also, I just got a very lucky KO, so uh, boost me up. Boost me up, Buttercup. It's a hip, present-day, topical musical reference. Catch that? But I didn't crash out. And it should be easy to not crash out with the uh, Wild Goose, because it is, in fact, so tough. Ambassadorf. I'm gonna look up that name in Ganon Court. I'm gonna see if we have an Ambassadorf. Oh. Sadly, we do not. Bumper Destroyer. Great lap bonus. Oh. I guess I get a bonus for getting a good lap time. Two KOs. I wonder what machine is best to KOs. Probably this one, actually, because it can take the most hits, so I can, like, uh, I can brawl more. Let's try it. Let's let's go for KOs. It's probably not going to happen, but if I can get that five KOs in one race, boy, that'd be great. Squishy. I saw someone named Squishy. I'm going to go for them. Deathwind again. Nope. Okay, Big Blue. Everyone loves the music. Everyone just wants to hear the Big Blue theme. Side note. I can now actually hear the game. I have, uh, since the previous stream, figured out the uh, complex methods necessary to make sure that I can hear the Switch while playing it. Or while streaming it, rather. I wish there was a stat where, like, uh, I could refill my spin faster. I wish some vehicles had, like, faster spins than others. I'm assuming that's not the case. Maybe it is. Maybe this is the best vehicle for spinning. I don't think that's the case. Oh! Oh, I bet, uh, do bumper KOs count? Can I just KO five bumpers to get the, uh to get the KO's badge. Because that's way easier than KOing racers. I'm gonna try to be conservative with my spins and save them for uh, when I can get a uh, reasonably assured knockout. Unfortunately, I need to be, like, towards the front to encounter bumpers. Other than this blue asshole here, that's my favorite F-Zero machine, the blue asshole. Did that... 
Oh, that wasn't a KO? Maybe bumpers don't count. Maybe it does have to be racers. Oh, that's gonna be hard if that's the case. It turns all right. I think this is the second best at turning. This is the second, second grippiest after the Stingray. Uh, it refills so little. Yeah, okay, bumpers do count for KOs. I guess I just didn't hit the other one dead on. I think I only got one KO that race. And I was specifically aiming for KOs, too. I think it's one of those things that's just gonna happen. It's gonna happen randomly. Mother of EV. Butt squirt, good name. Squishy, down in 63. Senpai, dad. Two frames. How many KOs did I get? I got two. Okay, so it counted the first. It just didn't show the KO on the screen. I guess it just, it must have had something that was more important to display at the time. Uh, I don't think, I don't have any reason to do Pro Tracks, because I don't think that counts as a F-099 race. You know what, let's test that empirically. Uh, what do I do? Machines. Participate in five F-099 races. So if this counts, then I should get the, uh, I should get the badge. For that right after this Pro Tracks event. Cyphus, Marink, Juff, Monkey, Aushi Stark, Cubone, Combo, Reninji, Promo, Chase, Vanilla, Ducky, Captain Ivan, Horbert, Logan, Zalrog, who's that asshole? Sylvester. Oh, White Land. I like White Land. Despite my experiences earlier trying to, to, to do the time trial on it. I think it's less, it's the less annoying pro track between that and, uh, and Port Town. Silence is the only one that just doesn't appear in any of these online things. You have to get to the final race of a uh, five track Grand Prix to get Silence. It's the only way to race on it. a slightly hidden booster pad over there. Ooh, someone spun me up. Yeah. Yeah, hit me. Boost me. I think, was someone trying to go for the shortcut? There is a, uh, there's a part on this track where you can jump over a part, over the track to a later part of the track, like Mario Kart style. However, it is, uh, it resets you immediately, even if you land it, so it's not actually useful, to my knowledge. That's probably not the best place to do that. Oh, oh no, what happened? Why am I ping-ponging? This is terrible! 
I don't know what I don't know what happened. What that sequence of hits was that caused me to do that. It's a little drifty. It is not as perfectly grippy as the Stingray, unfortunately. Give me the gold. Yeah, give me the gold car. I'm after that gold booty. Oh no! That blue bumper is bullying me. It was lunging at me. I, I hear lots of explosions. I didn't see any. Probably probably just hard for me to tell because I have a, I have delayed audio. I have audio, but it is on a delay due to the uh, Elgato. Streamer's note, do not buy Elgato capture cards if you care about delay. All right, 28. Three rivals down. That's how you rank up, is by defeating rivals. Didn't get much for that, though. Ulbachu. Super guy. Sylvester did well. Super Luker. Addy and Dev. Pasta salad. KK. No, no one I recognize. Pootie pie. It's like people watching, only instead of watching people, you're watching usernames. Nope. Okay. So, uh, proven. Pro track events do not count as F099 races. Let's do one more of these for that, uh, that, uh, Wild Goose unlockable, and then we will do a Grand Prix. Dexter. Rubik's. Weeblord. Francisco. I-9. This guy, Kit. Name for games. Ah, uh, I, I don't really care between these two. I always forget the difference between them. They, they kind of look the same. Oh, Weeblord is one of my rivals. Welcome back, Cure. Oh, I went too fast? I got bumped. And I went through the gravel. That's bad. I got bumped from behind and went so fast that I went over the, uh... I went over the boost pad. At this point, it might just be better to hang out in the back of the crowd and uh, pick up the orbs so that I can, uh, I can, like, super bounce or super boost ahead. Because trying to, like, race normally up through the cluster is, is borderline impossible. Someone exploded. Yeah, just in time. Catching up. Hello. What are you doing up here? Oh, not hitting the red cars that I just hit. Mmm. Yeah. Second place. Blow it. Can't boost through these. I'm out of boost. I'm about to die if I'm not careful. And I'm 
barely gonna get any health back because I'm the wild goose. Yeah. There's a KO. Easy bumper KO. Accidental Skyway. Good timing, I'll take it. Four rivals. I beat Weeblord. I have proven myself the superior Weeb. I can be. I'm cool with that. Brand chips. Bobby Slay. Watababe? <laughs> Foobology. It's a good name. The study of foob. Alright. GP time? GP is open. And we got our new wild goose. It's just, it's just a yellow Roomba. We saw someone with, uh, with, like, a Triforce Wild Goose in the first stream. I wonder what that decal is. Maybe it's for winning the, uh, maybe it's for winning the league. Yeah, it's probably that one. Probably the hardest to get. I like the red and black. I don't have the decal that's red and black, but I like, uh, I like the red machines. Alright, GP. I'm still working on that, uh, I'm still working on that wild goose. Ten races with no crash outs, so. So far, I've gotten up to race four. That's always where I seem to rank out. I also usually play as, uh, I usually play as, uh, Stingray, though. I don't care if I win. I don't even care if I finish this. I just want to reach silence. I want to un unlock silence. I think because the fourth track is uh, Deathwind, Stingray is kind of bad because... Did someone just blow up immediately? How the fuck did that happen? How do you lose that much health that quickly? What? People exploding. People are taking so many hits. Oh, I wanted that KO. Oh, I wanted it really badly. Someone beat me to the punch. Somehow that red card didn't detonate. I don't know how, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I am now smoking. That's not great. Oh, and I hit a red card. That one blew up. Oh, I have the I have the gold path. Oh, I just got it. Okay, I just heard the noise. Good place to get it. Explosions everywhere! Ninth place, top ten. 
All right, I'll take it. That's a great start. It's not a number one result, but... I'm getting there. Kino. Chat cool. Am bad. Help. Spyro X. Good effort. Big Bumpa. Adamantine. I've seen Adamantine before. I wonder if that's a bot. Rivals are now... Kanji, Wiz, Benny, and M Mayu. Oh, it's sparkly. Kanji. I, I say kanji. I don't know what the kanji is. Maybe it's not kanji. Maybe it's katakana. Or it's hiragana. Niz. I wonder if that's the niz I know. I wonder if that's Finiz. How did someone explode last race just at the starting line? It doesn't seem possible. I do feel like I have a lot of weight in the Golden Goose. Like, people are, uh, people are bumping off me. They, they go flying. I don't move. I appreciate that. That's a nice feeling. Ooh, that was a great time to use that. Yeah, first place. Almost. Am I in first? I am in first. Yeah! Just got him. Nope. Okay, someone passed me. It's another, uh, another wild goose. The goose is loose. The goose is out of boost. I'm just at 50. Let's drive over the gravel. Lose all my speed. That's alright. Hit a wall. Lose even more speed. Oh, oh. I had it. I tasted first. What happened? I was there! Yeah, slide over there. Give me the air slide. Would have sucked to blown up right there. All right, 18. Still workable. Only one rival. All the others did better. Coach Z. Parker. Lupine Crew. Arcane Riku. There's an Arcane Riku in, in Yashihime. It's not the Kingdom Hearts Riku, it's a different Riku. He's a pirate. Oh, speaking of, Samurai G, Arcane Riku, our rivals. Bumped a guy directly behind. He got a speed boost, and I'm... Alright, well, I'm still okay. I'm still in, like, 8th, 10th, 12th, 14th, 16th, 18th. I think this is my second favorite vehicle. The lack of boost hurts a bit. I mean, the, the, the Stingray wasn't great at boosting either, but uh, I just, I don't like being slippy. This is the next least slippy. 
And the toughness is appreciated. It does feel nice to have. Above anything, I really just got, gotta not, uh... I gotta not crash out, I say, as I go just bouncing between a pair of walls. Because I would really like to get that no crash outs. That's a nice looking decal on the other vehicles. I'll bet it's a nice looking one on this one as well. Yeah, slide up here. Avoid the turns. Give me the boost. Oh, KO! Yeah, give me the boost. Boost, boost, boost. Boost Mobile. <laughs> this would be a great game for Boost Mobile to, uh, to sponsor. Boost Mobile presents F-099 with the Golden Fox. Nothing but boost. Oh, this is four. This is lap four. I just realized. Whoops. Probably would have been about the same result had I realized that a second earlier. S3. I got an S3 rival? Wow, I'm flattered. T Tony Stank. Another good name. Alright, race four. This is Deathwind. I just gotta survive Deathwind. I think top 20? I'm uh, a little embarrassed to say I have not survived lap one of Deathwind yet. I always get ranked out. I was just, I was right at the finish line. I was neck and neck with the next person the last time I attempted a GP. Again, always a Stingray though. Maybe I'll do better with uh, a different vehicle. Oh, there's gravel. Yeah, I need I need to hit the boost. Boost is very important on this track. I need to hit every boost pad. Alright, avoid the gravel. I'm in go mode now. I gotta stay ahead. I gotta, I gotta bump people. Yeah, only I get the boost pad. Get out of here. I just, I just gotta be top 20. Oh, I went through the gravel. That's not good. Give me some gold. Give me the balls. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna pass the pack. Let me get my boost back. Alright, I'm in a good spot. I just gotta maintain some level of lead. And I'm not doing that great at it. Gotta not hit any red cars. And I gotta get uh, up to the boost pad. Alright, here we go. Yeah, gold, gold. Give me the gold. What lap is this? This is lap three. I'm sorry. I must sound very annoying to listen to. Uh oh, I'm the rank out. Yeah, give me up, give me up, give me up. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Yes! Do I unlock silence now? I don't know if I'll survive this next one, but I'm finally going to race on silence. First time ever. 
I haven't even played S I haven't played F-Zero SNES. I've never been on this track before. Spyro X holding his own. Arcane Riku also top three. I'm ranked four? Really? Huh. Am I gonna be top ten in a GP? That'd be that'd be nice. That'd be great. Alright. New track. Supposedly has a very hard time trial. I've never raced on it before. And there's no starting section. We just start right on the track for this one. Oh, I bet that's why it's not in the normal pool. It's got uh, sharp turns. Got mines, I see. It's got gravel. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be a fun track. The time trial. Oh no! Boy, this is something. I don't know what, what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Yeah, boost me ahead. Knock me. Knock me up, baby. Wait. You know, the music for this track really doesn't live up to its name. I am a... Okay, I may not be great at the brawling and the 99 Racers Chaos of this game, but... I'm, I'm decent as a racer. I'm, I'm like a technical racer. That's my thing. So something like this, I, I can hold my own on. I'm confident on my performance in silence. Comparatively speaking. This is going great. I'm in second. I'm about to be in first. Look at this. Hello. Eh, yeah, enjoy that bump, idiot. Oh, I missed. That's not great. What lap is this? This is lap four. Yeah, get te get out technically race, idiot. I had better not hit any of these red cars. Yeah! Fuck you, learn to race! I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. Give me a track- give me more tracks like this. They suck for F-099, but... Man, I can play these. You make my opponent the track? That's great. I just can't outplay the other racers. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll retire from my F-099 career. I got one win, no losses. It seems like the right time, you know? Well, you know what? I got first in a race. Look, there I am on the pedestal. That's something. Wow, we're, we're all wild geese. There is not a single golden fox here. I guess that maybe wouldn't be a great track for golden fox. Silence. Alright, well we got it. I finally got it. I, I finished a Grand Prix. I got on the I got on the pedestal and I unlocked silence. I got an orange hockey puck. New practice course unlocked. Let's do that. Oh, that's a nice decal too. Which one of those do I like more? I like the red color. Uh, because it's like red and black is a good color combination. Do I like the arrows or do I like the... I like the arrows. Yeah, this looks cool. Alright. I, I gotta move fast red arrow hockey puck. Let's try the... Uh, let's try silence. On uh, time trial. That That's how I will uh, end this. End the stream. I'm still going to, especially for a track like this, I'm going to assume that I want the Fire Stingray. stingray. Let's see how this goes. Actually, you know what? What time do I have to be? Sorry, let, let me confirm that before I make this attempt.
Uh, silence. I want... 148 is my goal. That's a low time, 148. That's like Mute City time. Now, Elf claims that this was, like, way harder than, uh, than Port Town was. And I struggled a lot with Port Town. I'm hoping that we just have different skill sets and I will just not have any trouble with this. That would be great if that were the case. Uh, in F-Zero GX, you could hit these mines in order to, uh... You could, like, intentionally hit them to, like, propel yourself forward at, obviously, the cost of health. That wasn't good. I wonder if that's the case in this game, or if, uh... Or if not. What was the time? 128? One, no, 148. Okay, so I'm not doing great, but I'm not doing, like, abysmal either. This is the- this is the fuck you part. I- you got a break for that. I- I am not, uh, I'm not breaking. I'm letting go of acceleration, but I'm not breaking. Alright, final lap. Where can I get away with boosting? Missed the jump. That's not great. Alright, break, break, break. Break. Nope, still hit a wall. Alright, already passed 148. What's my time gonna be? 152. Well, sub 153. I need to shave five seconds off of that. That is way less of a difference that I was like I was like 20 seconds off of Port Town. This seems doable. I'm gonna keep trying at it a little bit. Five seconds, I can do that. Just need to uh not blow all of my uh not blow all of my boost lap one I think. Hit this uh hit this jump more reliably. That's probably... There's a delay. I can't sing along. Whoops. Gotta hit that jump, though. I think he said he got, like, uh, 144 on this track. Which sounds like a great time. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to compete with that. I just, I just want to get the, uh, I just want to get the unlockable, the, uh, the backdrop. Ugh, nope. Don't want to hit those. See, when I was relaxed and I was going through the going through the motions, the first attempt, I did great. Now that I'm actually trying to optimize everything, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck up constantly. All right, two boosts on the first lap. I think that's uh, manageable. Got it. I ah, got hit the jump though. Hitting a lot of these. Uh, hitting a lot of these corners. It's not ideal. No walls on that. Using the brake. 
I have my uh, buttons remapped so that uh, the spin is now the right button. The brake is my top button. And because there's nowhere left to put it, the X button is now the, uh, the right bumper. Not a great wall hit. I'm doing better than my ghost. I don't think I'm going to get uh, sub-128 on this one. Sorry, uh, sub-148. Maybe I will. I only got one boost left in me, so that's not great. Hit the jump right. So close. Was it 14820? Yeah, 14823. Elf, you're full of shit. This is way easier than Port Town. No, I wanted to go again. I'm not I'm not done with you. We're gonna do this. like using a... Yeah, I'm gonna start over. I don't like using a boost on that gravel. I could just take the hit to my speed, but... Again, it's weird that in this game the fastest vehicle is also the one with the best handling. Because usually that's the opposite. In something like Mario Kart, the uh, like the beginner vehicle, the, the, the babies... Not like insulting the player, the actual, like, baby Mario. Uh, have, like, the highest acceleration and the highest grip and handling. That's usually how it goes. F-Zero is, like, an anomaly in that way. Oh, hit that wall, yeah, eat it. A little behind. I think I'm going to do better at this game as the tracks get more complex. I think once there's actually, like, hard turns and things... That's when I'm gonna start outracing other people. Right now, because it's just, like, uh... It's just, like, pure optimization on these big, wide, open tracks with straightaways and things. This is when it's at its most chaotic, and I'm kind of having trouble... You know, winning. I am losing because it is not a game of skill. I am consistently unlucky. It is the only explanation. I don't know what voice that was. It wasn't comic book guy. I was so close. This is so doable. This might be... Th this will probably take me less time than uh, White Land did. I remember White Land took me, like, I don't know, four or five attempts. This is gonna... No, this is gonna take me more than four or five attempts. White Land was not a one and done, though. Perf frame perfect with my previous attempt. Okay, I got the jump this time. Is that a good place to boost? Maybe not if I ping pong like this. Ah, oh, that's barely ahead. Okay, five seconds off might be more than I, uh than I anticipated it being. Oh, 
I don't... See, I can, like, fully slow down to make those turns. That's becoming less of a problem. But I'm inclined to boost right afterwards, because I want to get up to speed again. That, that seems like it would be the optimal place to boost. Old, uh, smoking ass. No! Ping pong! I need a drink. Waste of a boost, didn't want to do it there. You know what this music weirdly sounds a little bit like? It sounds a little bit like some areas in uh, Maple Story. Alright, that was a good turn. Good series of turns. That was terrible. That was a god awful follow up to the good series of turns. I was off of my accelerator for pretty much that entire series of turns, which is not great. And then I just hit the mines. A good thing to do. Lost all of my health. So I gotta avoid the mines. I can hit the jump every lap. I gotta not fuck up the uh, the double turn back, double turn pike, and I got to uh, not fuck up the turns at the very end either. These little wall shaving moments aren't great, but they're not uh, they're not run killers. Ping ponging is a run killer. I can't let that happen! I'm gonna do it. We're, get, we're going to get this time. F-099? Nah, F-01. Yeah, look at those turns. I got a break on that part too. If I just if I careen into a wall once, that's just it. Even if it feels like I bounce back into position, look look how much how much like ground I lost compared to my previous run. My first run. That was my first time through this level. Is the ghost I'm racing? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, I lost a second. I'm smoking though. My my top speed is now cut. Yeah, see I didn't even make the length of the gravel. 
I wonder how many people are aware of that mechanic. The fact that you uh, don't, like, go as fast if, you, if you're damaged. You would think it would be obvious, but it's not, uh, it's something you kind of have to pay attention to to notice. Which, uh, thankfully, your mile, your kilometers per hour are displayed on screen, so you can kind of, kind of gauge that to see. I'm way behind. Yeah, okay. I, uh... Wait, no, this isn't, uh... I'm sorry, this, is, this isn't this is my, uh... I don't need to gain five seconds on this ghost. I just need to, uh... I was really close. This, this ghost was like, uh... This ghost was like, uh, like, less than a second off. I just need to beat this ghost at all. Okay. No, this is still doable. I, I was, uh, I was, I was holding myself to, uh, higher a standard than necessary. Can't boost here. <laughs> this health. This still could be the run. God, it's so slow to refill. I'm just gonna spend the whole final lap smoking. Nope, missed the jump. Turns. Gonna break. Just driving through the walls like that is the worst. That that just removes your speed. I say may maybe careening head on is worse. It's kind of hard to gauge. Oh, uh, I can't boost here. Okay, my previous ghost also didn't boost here. I have a lead of almost two seconds, which is more than I need. <sighs> this is a very suboptimal run. Do, do not use this run as an example, even if I do beat the even if I do beat the time. gonna boost ahead of me. That's okay, because I'm gonna save my boost. I'm gonna race at a higher speed this lap. Wow, I'm way behind the ghost now. What? Maybe the boost was valuable. Maybe I should have boosted. In addition to being the uh, fastest and grippiest, this is probably the vehicle where boost is most important, because its major shortcoming is acceleration. Which the, the solution to is, is, is to boost. Also, a very good reason why I get knocked out so much in the uh, in the Grand Prix is because I just, I just can't catch up the, the whole first lap before we have boost available. Well, no, we have boost available in the first lap. Just not until the starting line, you know, after people have already kind of settled into place. Ooh, good start. Good start. This ghost that I'm racing has a weak lap two. So if I'm winning lap one, that's a, that's a, that's a great sign! This is it. This is the run.
Now this is it. This is the run. This time for sure. I'm getting good at those, at least. It's not quite as much as a lead as the uh, last one I had. Uh, missed the jump. It's okay, not a run-ender. That's a run-ender. <sighs> we'll get there. That, uh, that, that green stuff, that, that ray beam that fills up your entire screen is a little distracting. I, I wish they, uh, I wish it refilled your boost without that animation, personally. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that, th that was a thing in F-Zero GX. You know, the perfect F-Zero by which all other F-Zeros will be measured. Lap two, hit the jump. Will I hit the turns? Yes, I will. Ping pong a little bit, not too badly. Almost a three second lead, this is great. I don't think I'm gonna be able to boost this lap, but that's okay. Maybe, that might be okay, I can't relax yet. Having a, a lower speed because of the smoking is not the worst thing in the world on silence. Get up to speed after the turns. Don't hit the mines now. Missed the jump. That might be okay. What am I going for? I'm going for sub 148. Nope. Oh no! Oh, no! I get antsy. I think I might have still had it, even if I hadn't done the boost there. I hit some walls and I got antsy to get my speed back because I'm so slow to accelerate. So this has taken me longer than Whiteland at this point. Still not nearly as long as it took me for Port Town. Little wall bumping. That's okay. Good lap one. I can't wait to uh, beat the ghost, but not by enough to get the time. I'm gonna beat it by like a tenth of a second, and I'm still gonna be short of the time I need. Good lap two, but I am uh, smoking again. Hit the jump. I'll bet you could, uh, I'll bet you could cut that a little further by, uh, by boosting off the jump. You can cut more of the track. Alright, still making good time, and I have good health this time, too, so I should not blow up. Well, I don't make any really stupid mistakes like that! Where do you come from? Oh, it's gonna boost here, isn't it? No, it's not gonna boost. No! The ping pong at the end! That was almost it.
I hope that that was like, I hope that was telling how that previous GP went. Like, if I can get to the end of a GP, then I'm, I'm gonna get first on silence, because everyone else is terrible at this track. I hope that's the case. Boy, that would be just lovely. I, pro I also probably shouldn't hope that everyone else is terrible at this track when I am, like, driving like this on it. Alright, hit the jump. Up the wall a little bit, that's okay. Good turn good turns. Mm, just barely ahead. One frame. This is a uh, 30 FPS game, FYI, as I have noticed since starting to edit highlights of the first stream. Not 60 FPS. I don't know what F-Zero GX was, if that was a 60 FPS game. Ooh, very good. Very good set of turns. Almost three seconds ahead. Decent lap one, great lap two. And then I fuck it up lap three. I bet I'm not having, like, any, like, especially noteworthy lap twos. I just had a really bad lap two on this ghost, and it, ma it makes me feel better however I do. But then my ghost has, like, a really good lap four, so th this is when the ghost always catches up to me. I'm smoking, which is not good. I got one boost left in me. me here. I know it. <laughs> what did I get? 148.24. Was it like 148.23 last time? Well, show me what the ghost got. 148.20. I was literally a frame off from the time. Frame, I guess. Wait, how can it be 20, 24 to 23? Beca because this is a 30 FPS game. Unless it's 30 FPS online and 60 FPS offline? No. I'm consistently getting a good laps one and two. I just, I, I keep fucking up lap three is the problem. Probably a little bit late to boost there. Yeah, ping pong. That's bad. I'm not going to give up until the ghost passes me. I don't need to be the best in the world at this. I just need to beat 148. Alright, now I'm competing with, like, the good final lap is the problem. I got two boosts in me, so maybe I maybe I can keep ahead of it at the end. Nope, I'm just gonna ping pong. We've been going over two. How long have we been doing this level? I didn't think this would be a very long stream, but we're over two hours now.
If I do this, then I'll have four tracks each for the uh, Queen and King seasons. For uh, harder tracks, granted. I wonder what the hardest track in uh, in F Zero Super NES is. Finally got the first jump. Neck and neck with my ghost. Me and my ghosts. It was a uh, PAZ song. Probably about time trials and racing games. I assume that's what he would be rapping about. If this falls into the into the categorization of uh, the hardest levels have the most relaxing music. That's a thing in video games. You ever notice that? That's why all the good music in Rayman is strictly for uh, World Two and on. You know, after the difficulty cliff. Good lap one. It's really interesting. Yeah, we've, uh, we make jokes about that sometimes. Of, like, uh, I, Donkey Kong Country gets, like, the most of the jokes because, like, the, uh, like, the infamous Bramble levels have the prettiest music in Donkey Kong Country 2. On some level, I think that's a game design decision. Like, they want to put the really good music in the levels where you're going to be spending the most time. Because if they put the bad music there, oh, imagine how, how awful that would be. If you're in just, like, an unforgivingly difficult level, and you have to spend hours upon hours listening to some grating, horrible music track. Miss the jump. See, now we've reached the point where I think I'm getting fatigued and I'm just doing a little bit worse each time. That's not great. This is the point that I was getting to with Port Town where I thought I'd have to come back fresh in order to do it. And I did come back fresh for this stream, and I did it pretty quickly. This could reach a point where if I just can't do it, I'll just, I'll like, I'll put it down and I'll come back off stream and I'll do it in like two tries. I don't think we're at that point yet though. I still think this is very doable. Put that on my grave. He thought it was doable. Alright, lap four. Just gotta avoid any major fuck ups. Why, why, why do I speak? This is it. This is where the ghost passes me, and I just- I just fail. Okay, nope, actually I did it. 146.95. It's just that easy, just do what I do. Look, did you see the CPU racing inside the wall for a second there? Alright, what does this look like? on the pilot card. Does silence look nice? That looks okay. What's the nut? What's the coolest looking one? I kind of like, uh... I kind of think Mute City looks the best of them.
Yeah. Uh, it, it looks cool with, like, all the buildings on the ground. Alright, well, I guess my next goal is... Did I get the... Actually, I got the... I got the Wild Goose, uh, 10. Yeah, I got, I got, I got the, I got the 10... Cra uh, 10 races with no crash outs. And I even finished a GP today. I did good. I'm, I'm happy with this progress. Uh, that's gonna be it for F-Zero today. Thank you for watching. I am going to come back to this when the Queen's Cup starts. Sometime next month, I'll do an F-Zero 99 stream. And then again on the month after for the King's Cup. Tune in on Saturday. I'm going to be doing the crew battle I'll be hosting between the Ganondorfs and the Me Gunners in Super Smash Bros. So that'll be cool to watch. Uh, write your, uh, reserve your seats for Ganon's funeral. And then Jack and I will probably do a stream on the same day. Maybe more Breath of the Wild. We'll see. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time.